ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another gameplay video here on the channel right now i am standing here in combo clickers which happens to be another clicking slash tapping simulator kind of game this one has a unique factor and i like that about it now they went about revamping their entire map so now there is a portal hub that holds all of the portals and there is this new altar thing that I really, really want to know your honest opinion about. So that's the main focus here in today's video. But before we get down to it, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Hit that share button and also hit that thumbs up button on this video. Drop a comment in the comment section. What pets you have, which ones is your best, and also which are the best hats to have equipped because right now my hats suck I need some better hats and also there is this whole issue with the rebirths and the training areas I wish they would just create one place where you can train that way you don't need a certain amount of rebirths because they're in balanced you know what I'm saying because right now I have like 300 and something you in rebirths let's double check my numbers so I got 327.3 Q in rebirths. Now these are my numbers right here, ladies and gentlemen. These are pretty good for a person that doesn't play the game every single day. And this is also really good, but it's not good enough to be featured on the leaderboard, sadly. But anyway, these are my stats. And the next training area, I'm going to have to have 100 QU in rebirths. Like, that doesn't make any sense, bro. So, it's crazy. The hats are getting more and more expensive. The pets are already difficult to get, but the rebirths, I've been doing them and everything like that, so I'm slowly starting to gain that progress back here in the game. So, currently, we're celebrating 7 million visits on the game, so there is a 7 mil egg right here. You guys can farm that. There is a Robux egg right here, and these two eggs are your starter eggs. Now, they also added something interesting. When you walk next to the egg containers, there's this message that lets you know that there is a secret inside of there. So this one right here is actually very clever to me, in my honest opinion. This is a Robux egg, but it contains a secret pet. So who do you think is going to be crazy enough to farm this egg and spend that much Robux in order to get this secret pet from here? I want to know. Now, I have a hunch. I'm not guaranteeing this, though. Russo, since they freaking immortalized him inside of this game, he might be the first person to spend a ton of Robux on this egg in order to hatch that secret. Because you guys know how he is with his Robux. He does a lot of crazy spending. And he doesn't recommend us to spend Robux like him. So I'm going to take his advice and not do it. But it's very interesting that they would put a secret pet inside of here. There's also like some performance issues and everything like that. Speed. We shouldn't have to pay for speed inside of a simulator. We should have normal walking speed or sprinting speed then the jetpacks I have unlocked every single island but you know just jumping up there the jump power is not strong enough so maybe they should add a upgrade to like the rockets or something inside of the uh, shop I have a ton of boosters going on right now so you always gotta come over here to this little potion cart make sure that you have the best amounts of boost actively going because they're going to help you. Right now, I don't have any pets. Well, actually, I do have pets, but they're not shown. What I meant to say was I don't have my hats equipped because the hats really make me lag inside of the game. And then it's a struggle jumping up to the islands with like seven hats attached to your head. So the seven mil egg has a secret. I haven't discovered it, but I have hatched all of the pets from this egg. And this is just a event egg that will help, you know, starter players inside of the game. So this really wouldn't help me. I'm like in the middle. I'm not a pro, but I'm getting there. So let's go over to our pets. So right now my best pet is the Spirit Angel. 
and then we have the music wave right here and then we have the minions now this is that unique factor that I was talking about all of these pets are beautifully crafted they're not just you know a box jelly cube looking pets you have a little character behind them you have some uniqueness in their design so I love that about that now back to the altar because here is the thing ladies and gentlemen you got to read the fine print a lot of people are just taking this as a opportunity to get like a super OP um, secret pet but check it out it says it right here and it's letting you guys know Find and combine certain pets to get much stronger ones, and you can also get exclusive ones. Note, this is where you're supposed to pay attention. Summoning a pet will take away the pets used. So this is kind of like that whole aspect of clicking champions, you know what I'm saying? Where you discover your secrets and everything like that, but you're unable to keep it until you reach that certain you know amount of super rebirths and you purchase the perk from the super rebirth shop so in clicking champions you need 50 super rebirths in order just to purchase one and to keep one secret pet so that's crazy so that's essentially what they're doing right here so you're going to gather up all of these pets these pets are pretty much the second to last pet inside of every single egg so you can say like they're legendary maybe legendary or a mythic pet or something like that whatever tier they're called so you're gonna get all of these from every single egg now this last piece requires a shard which is a secret pet there are a total of five secret shards and there will be a six one but you need to combine all five to make that six shard so it's going to be interesting to see who's able to make what in this game. But like I said, you're losing stuff. So all of these I'm not really worried about. The shards is what I am worried about. Because the shard pets, the stats are OP. I've seen one with billion. I've seen one with trillion. And those are super OP pets that will help you. Now, while you can summon them, you get to use them just briefly but in order to get the next shard you're gonna have to sacrifice the first one that you discovered so up here I have four out of five pets that I need to make a shard but down here I also have four out of five in order to make the next shard so this one right here this pet is the alien king so you're gonna need to head up to the alien portal hatch yourself the alien king and once you have all the pets down here it's going to form a shard now this is either going to be the shard of the future or the shard of power so once you form that shard down here you get to use it for a little bit yada 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 and then you come up here and that shard is going to be used here in order to make the next shard and this is going to take away all of these pets here, including the shard that you just discovered. So, like I said, is it really worth me trying to farm every single egg, get all of the legendaries to make a shard, knowing that I'm going to lose it in the end? Because once you get down here, I'm guaranteeing that you only get to keep one shard. Now, that one shard is probably going to be the most OP, but still losing five shards bro just to have one in the end they all better be worth it i want to know your thoughts if you have already summoned your shards and everything like that have you decided what your next move is going to be let me know in the comment section now they also added more stuff inside of the upgrade shop so we're going to check that out as well and I'm going to show you guys what I've really been doing. I've been really grinding in this game. Like I said, I really like this game. So, I almost have everything maxed out. So, they are slowly giving us more and more each update. You know, all of these perks, they're adding something on. And the prices are getting higher and higher. Like I said over here, you have walk speed. Now I need one more upgrade and then I can max it out, but look how much it costs and look how much I have. 
It just doesn't make sense. Walk speed should have been free for us in the game. So we have the plus one hat equipped. We got that maxed out. Inventory, we got that maxed out. They gave us more pet space, so now we can hold 260. Rocket jumps, they've been maxed out since the beginning at 18. It really doesn't take that many jumps to make it to the next island, so I love that about it. Gem increase, that's really going to help you guys gain more gems every time you rebirth. So that way you can purchase these stuff in here. So you definitely need to max that out. We're close. We're super close. Let's see what else. We maxed out the rebirth buttons. Combo increase. They increased the combo just slightly. So that's good. Now you guys can see. I have 65 there. It used to read uh, 50. So that's that's something. We had tiers. I maxed that out as well. The combo start, they added that in recently. So I maxed that out. The opening egg speed, I maxed that out. Pet cloner was something new. So basically, if you hatch one pet, you'll automatically have two of the same pets. So that means you can make evolutions a whole lot faster just by having that pet cloner. So the pet luck, we need this because we need to discover these secrets and everything like that. But look how much it costs for the last upgrade, 10S. Max combo, we maxed that out. Pet tiers, this is starting pet tier. So you can start out with the best uh, tier there is in a game, such as like Golly and Mythics and all of that. You can start out with that. So just imagine hatching a mythic pet off the back. That's crazy. We can almost max that out as well, but look how much it costs, 250S. We got the plus one extra pet equipped, the free auto clicker. They added some more clickings per second, so that's pretty good. The combo time, they added that in as well, that's new. Free auto clicker combo, that's something new they added as well. They upgraded that just slightly. Hat cloner, that's been there. And faster combo, we maxed that out as well. So we're doing good. All we got to do is really discover these remainder of the pets and work on our rebirths. And then we crush the game. So if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Also, like I said, try to answer that question for me. Is it really worth farming? I really want to know. Because if I end up getting my first shard, I kind of want to keep it. I don't want to lose it. You know what I'm saying? I want to grind with it. I want to do all the necessary stuff that I want to be able to do having that pet equipped. Alright, so these are the last two islands that they added. The Music Island and the Abyss. Now, I believe I made it up to both of these islands, so... Yeah, this is always the glitch. I made it up here, but they never really calculated that I jumped there, which is so dumb. But here we are at music. So, like I said, you need the second to last pet. So, I would need this musical piano right here. And then this is like a musical Russo thing. But I would need this one right here. And then I will have to sacrifice that. And then, is there a training area up here? No, there is no training area up here. So this is the thing that I was talking about. You need more training areas. And I wish they wouldn't slap, you know, rebirths attached to the training areas. But they do. And it kind of sucks, you know. So, until I gain more and more, like, rebirths and stuff like that I won't be able to like move on to the next training area so even if they like listen to me and they debunk that theory give us world boost or something you know what I'm saying because this doesn't really help out even though there is a times five click event going on as well it's still not enough for me I don't know why I don't know what it is maybe I need to spend robux in this game in order to win what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Time to grind. Peace.